Hello, so today you join me on a little walk around a woodland with a lake in the middle. It's called uh, Otter Park. It's a little tiny private dog park you can hire outside of Oldsford in Colchester. And uh, yeah, it's wonderful. The dogs love it because there's uh, some woodland to run around and play around. There's the lake to have a swim in and dive into for sticks. And uh, yeah, they're just having the best time. And uh, come with me, join me on it. Let's go. So I love seeing dogs um, get out to all different sort of adventures. So finding a new place to come is actually as exciting for them as it is interesting for me. And uh, it's just lovely to see how happy they are really. Uh, getting all the different smells and sounds and sights and touch and everything. All the senses are ignited for them. So I'm looking as I'm walking because I don't want to <laughs> trip over anything. I'm going to come back around this way I think. Um, yeah, it's just really um, lovely really to see them enjoying themselves and having such a lovely time. And uh, the great thing about hiring a private park is for that hour you've got all the time to yourself with your dogs. You've got bonding time, you can do some training, you can just let them do whatever they like. You can sit and read a book and let them mooch about because they're actually in a safe, safe zone. Um, and uh, you haven't got to worry about them. Whereas if you're out in the public and you've got a dog that might run up to people or bounce up and say hello and things like that, that's uh, when it can become an issue because if somebody's out for a nice walk in their white trousers and the dog comes bouncing over and says hello to them and touches them, they're not gonna be very happy with you, are they? So uh, coming to somewhere private is A, a bit of a treat because you have to pay for it, obviously. Um, but just makes the walk that more relaxing really because you know it's only you with your dogs so you know that um, it's just going to be a nice time it's going to be guaranteed nice time <laughs> but it is a lovely place to mooch around so the dogs are loving it they, they literally fly off in all different directions and uh, have a good time I'll show you the, um, the fencing hold on let me just turn the camera around fencing all the way around it so if you have got a dog that's a little bit wayward and likes to uh, to run away or not come back this is going to hold it in which is really helpful and uh, there's a little uh, there's a boat there I don't think we're allowed to use that that would be fun though <laughs> and there's a little there's like little drop-in bits here where they put some astroturf down to make it a little bit more secure and uh, yeah Bumble wants to get in hold on a second let's get, get in ready Bumble go on in <laughs> he, he literally can't resist, he loves it. Congo's been in for a bit of a paddle, as any of the others. Oh, give him a half time when he comes out. Uh, thank you, thank you. I think because he's the one that goes in as the fun and gets the stick out, they all like tell him off for going in. <laughs> or, or get the stick off of him when he comes back out. So yeah, so um, yeah. Overall, it's a yeah, really lovely uh, little dog park actually. It's a, a little bit of a road coming in, so you drive across these fields to come in. But they give you all the good, uh, all the details and everything as you wait on your way in. So that's uh, absolutely fine. Here's my little car, and I got a new addition to it yesterday. Got a roof box. Very chuffed with that. Got it from Go Outdoors, very good price. There's a poo bin, so as always, clear up your poos. One of the rules they have as well, if you do see a poo that somebody's missed, then pick that up for them as well to keep the park as clear as possible, which I think is a lovely idea. I try and always do that if I can. And look at these guys, they're just having the best time. Here comes Congo. I love it when Congo runs. You see his face just sort of full of joy, bouncing up and down, absolutely happy. Just so pleased with himself. Aren't you, darling? Here comes Bonnie. Whoa, she's so quick. <laughs> and Bonnie and Congo have grown up together, so they're both only a couple of months apart in age. And uh, as you can see, they absolutely adore each other. 
Bonnie's a lot quicker than Congo now, so she can outrun him if she wants to. But he's pretty quick as well. He's got some agility for a big old boy. He's 85 kilos of Canny Corso, so he's a big lad. But the Canny Corsos are surprisingly agile. They are very quick when they want to be. They have a big, big burst of energy where they can really run and then they uh, kind of uh, slow down for quite a while just to build themselves back up again. And Bonnie's still going. Bonnie's definitely, uh, the poodle side of Bonnie's definitely more predominant because the, uh, the way she acts, her energy levels are a lot different to a Bernese mountain dog. So I think she's, uh, even though she's 50-50, in breeding, she's definitely uh, got the poodle instincts. Look at her going off for a swim. <laughs> she takes off in the water. I'll go have a swim. Might get in there with you when it gets warmer next year. Here comes Louis. You'd always find Louis around the edges of the, uh, the water wherever we are. You never ever get him on camera because he's always so busy running around, enjoying himself and foraging and just sniffing out stuff and looking at stuff. Um, he tends to find a ball everywhere he goes. And uh, it's hard to get him on camera sometimes. <laughs> Little Cosmo sticking with me, so he's kind of hard to film as well because he's around my feet. Here he is. So Cosmo's an Italian greyhound and uh, purely bred for companionship. They were bred to be a lap dog and a, just a companion dog, which is why he has his moments of running around, don't get me wrong, and enjoying himself, but they pretty much stay with you. And he's been staying with me for um, the last week while my sister's away. And uh, been as good as gold he has. He just cuddles all the time. Look, curl up in the bed next to me, don't you? Hey. <laughs> Humble saying, throw me something, I want to go in. Well, let me try and find you something then, hold on. Let's try and find something for him. I try not to bring balls and uh, frisbees and things like that out on walks when I'm with multiple dogs. I've got some little stick. This way, Bumble. Bumble Bumble's a typical springer. Ready? Go! Oh, Bonnie's gone for it. Oh, nice job. Jumped ahead of the game there. <laughs> Bonnie's trying to catch up with him. Come on then. <laughs> well done. Well done. Very good. Yeah, Bumble's a typical Spanish Spaniel. He, uh, he just adores the outside life. Gets excited by every single thing, which most Spaniels do. And uh, basically, he's telling me, yeah, he's telling me to throw something. Bonnie then, uh, that's how Bonnie plays with him. Tries to get, get him rolled up. Okay, that's enough. Enough. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so uh, he'd be in and out of the water all day if he could. He just wouldn't stop. So. Right, I'm going to go pick a poop up over here. So, be back in a minute. So, the wonderful gang I'm out with today. He's our Bonnie, our Bernie Doodle, and my Bumble, my Springer, here he is. <laughs> Little Cosmo, who's an Italian greyhound, here he is. Cosmo, you good boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Congo, and Congo's a canny Corso. You might have seen in some of my other videos. Don't worry, I'll get some close-ups of them as well as we go around. And Louis, the Irish setter. Louis funny really, Louis never used to uh, enjoy the water or anything, he used to just go into a dog park for his walks and uh, once he went out with the Labradors that I walk and they constantly are swimming and uh, enjoying themselves in water, he was like oh I think I fancy some of that and I can't ever keep him out now, he absolutely adores it. <laughs> so it's uh, yeah quite funny.
discovered this um, dog park the other week when I bumped into the couple who own it and uh, they suggested it to me and uh, really pleased I found it and got got to know them and uh, yeah it's a really lovely little place a bit of a change if you're um, a little bit um, disabled or have trouble getting about it's a little bit of a, a tricky walk around the woodland park because there's a lot of um, trip hazards um, obviously with the trees and everything else that's why I'm walking really slowly through this bit because I don't want to get knocked down by the dogs either because they're all flying through um, yeah so um, definitely uh, not any good for a wheelchair or anything like that um, maybe at the beginning of the walk where the beginning of where you park the car I'll just show you that now um, that could that could work but apart from walking around the bit I'm just coming around there that's a little bit tricky to manoeuvre this way let's go I hope you enjoyed being on this little walk with us today. The dogs have certainly enjoyed it. It's been really good fun for them. I think Bumble's ready for one more swim before we go. <laughs> and, uh, we're off to Devon for our next videos. So hopefully you'll come and join us with those. And that's just me and my wife, walking to a wife. And uh, Bumble are going, so it's just the three of us. So really looking forward to that and we'll do some nice videos from there for you as well. So what are the pros and cons of uh, 
using the dog park well like i said on the way around it's a it's a space for yourself so you can enjoy that and your dogs can really relax especially if you've got reactive dogs or a rescue that you're trying to train uh, recall with just a great thing for that and it's just a somewhere you can come and be on your own with your dogs and have a really good time with me i'm i'm so blessed to walk all these other dogs so they all get to socialize there if you have your own dog that's probably the negative you wouldn't get to socialize and meet other dogs so much unless you met with friends and brought them along and did it that way um but yeah so for the the dogs i walk they actually have a absolute way of a time they love getting together having a play and uh yeah i love it you can hear in the background now in the last play before we go so thanks for watching guys uh, like and subscribe if you can it's so helpful and uh, i just love making these videos i just hope you like watching them and see you on the next one take care